today we're gonna unbox the CTS2 Evolution. This is gonna go on the 2014 GMC Sierra. It's a gas truck. And if you look on the side here, it'll say gas. Alright, let's go let's go into the unboxing. Let's go take a look at the inside of the box. It comes with a manual with like some stickers and a manual. So this has to go inside your hood so that way when you take it to a dealership, they know that it has some sort of pro programmer installed. Mm -hmm. So they don't mess it up so they can just you know go back to stock and true true. That's what that white man said. He's John because we love you, bro. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna take a look at the monitor. So it comes with the monitor, and then let's see. And if we look in here, it comes with a mount and a little cloth to clean the windshield with before you mount it on there. This cable right here is for if you need to download or update your system using the computer and this is a uh, this is going to go into your obd plug and then this is what powers on your uh, edge screen and then just some zip ties if you want to make everything look a little bit clean that's it let's go ahead and install it mount the uh, the mount first and I'm probably gonna put it like right there it's kind of low-key um, so that way it's not up too high and it won't you know it won't blind you while you're driving all right sorry sorry for the noise on the back we're loading all the snowboard equipment losers especially that one yeah yeah that one too legit, too quick. <laughs> Please quit. <laughs> <laughs> so, probably gonna put it right there. Would you just look at it? <laughs> just, just look at it. Oh, would you look at this? <laughs> yeah. And then, we're going to... You wanna put this? on the back of the screen. Like so. And then put the monitor on the mount, like so. And then there's a little, um, like a, what is it called? Nut or whatever that you could twist mm -hmm. and tighten that up. And you, what you did was you ran it down here, right? Mm -hmm. You made a filament on this side. Okay. So you're just gonna run the wires down this edge, pun intended. All the way down this edge, once again, pun intended. And then this is gonna plug into your OBD plug. Which is right here. That is it. Now for programming the truck. Clean. Hiding all the wires. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and program this programmer. Uh, if you have any like aux cables or anything plugged into these power sources, Go ahead and unplug it because it can't interfere and it may mess up the uh, tuning process. So, prior to use, uh, read the manual. Uh, mis misuse of device could result in traffic accident, death, or serious injury. Make sure you agree. Alright, so it's going to show that three more times just to make sure that you're actually reading it. 
And we have a GMC or GM Chevy run position, which is two clicks. nice we'll find out how much more we can get with the edge tuner and this truck is not lifted so. mm -hmm. it's on a leveling kit with 34 inch all-terrain tires which is basically i would say more of a street tire than all-terrain tires but we'll see um should we leave it in optimized stock or just should we do performance we'll do we'll do performance i think my uncle will have fun mm -hmm. wait performance is the highest one yeah no uh, we'll, street just, tune. we'll just do street tune because uh, I think you get good, you get better gas mileage on the yeah, street, tune, right? street tune. Yeah, on the street tune, yeah. Because street tune, you can do 87 or 93. Yep, so we'll do street tune and we'll um, see what what kind of gas mileage we can get. And I'm, sh I'm pretty sure my uncle will have fun with this truck too. Mm -hmm. Does he put 87 usually or? Um, yeah, he puts regular. Okay. performance settings and right now it's stock and we're gonna do street tune so it cannot be used while towing <clears throat> all right saving stock ECM so we're saving all the stock files and then once all the stock files have been saved we're gonna go ahead and do the street tune um, one thing I would say is one thing that's different about this and my LLY Duramax is my LLY Duramax is tuned by uh, uh, with a EFI Live by PPEI, and what I can, all the tune is installed on the truck, so I can switch on the fly with the Edge Insight. However, with gas trucks, you have to tune it while you're uh, parked, and it has to be in run position. That's the only downside, but you know that's the difference between a gas truck and um, diesel truck all right so we saved the stock ECM and he's running 35 34 inch tires 34 so you so, have to change it yeah we probably could yeah. should I have done that before no 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 you change after, it after this yeah okay because it's gonna ask you a custom tune all right, so this is perfect because my uncle is actually running a leveling kit with 34 inch tires. Uh, what that does is it messes with the speedometer. When your tires are bigger, if your speedometer says you're going 40, you're really going like 43, 44. So it, it's off by a little bit. Uh, with my truck, when I had 37s, my truck would say I'm going 40, but I was really going like 47. So this is really going to make it, uh, it says create a custom program. All right, so continue programming, speedometer limit. Um, we're gonna exit, he don't need that. And then tire size, we're gonna do, I think he does, I do believe he said 34s. But just to be sure, I think I'm just gonna put 33.5. And take that uh, V4 off. How do you do that? Uh, okay, oh. Active fuel management is off. So I just turned off the active fuel management. So what that does is while you're driving with the newer trucks, I do believe 2007 and up GMC trucks, uh, what they do is they'll switch uh, from V4 to V8 and it'll constantly shut off V8 whenever you're cruising somewhere and then it'll activate. Uh, so it'll be on a V4 when you're cruising somewhere and then it'll activate V8 if it needs more power. But what that does is it actually messes up with the engine on the newer trucks and uh, it's been giving problems with John's 2014 GMC Sierra. He had to replace all the spark plugs and uh, reading on forums uh, a lot of people are having issues because it's doing because of the active fuel management. So in order to save its life we're going to try to turn it off and uh, in return you should get better gas mileage too because your engine's not just constantly switching on and off and on and off with the V8 and V4. So 
This should get us better gas mileage. We're gonna drive about 120 miles to a ski resort and we'll find out what kind of gas mileage we can get. Well guys, quick update. We're getting 18.3 miles per gallon. We're averaging 18.3 and that's also our best.